Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's see what we do when we multiply a percent times a number. And that's really what that means. When you see the word of like this, 20% of 90, that means 20% times 90. Let's write that down. 20% multiplied times 90. The next thing you need to do is convert the percent to a decimal. We do that by, by moving the decimal place over two spots. This can therefore be written as 0 0.20 times 90. And of course, we don't need to zero there. This is the same as 0 0.2 times 90. Now we need to multiply those two numbers. And that can be done as follows. 90 times 0 0.2. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 9 is 18. We have one decimal place. Put that over here. The answer is 18.0 or 18. There's actually a pretty neat trick that you can use. If the first number has one decimal place and the second number has a zero, you can divide this number by 10 by removing the zero, and you multiply this number by 10 and by moving the decimal place, so this can then be written as 2 times 9, which is 18. And that's a lot easier to do than to go ahead and do longhand multiplication. Again. If you have a decimal place like this, if you multiply this times 10 and divide that by 10, nothing has changed and it's a lot easier to multiply. Next example, 15% of 60 is the same as saying 15% times 60, which is the same as when you convert this to a decimal, that would be 0 0.15 times 60. Using the same trick I used over here, if I multiply this times 10 and divide this by 10, this can be written as 1.5 times 6, and 1.5 times 6 is the same as 9. 1 times 6 is 6, and 0.5 times 6 is 3, so therefore this is 9. The next example, 24% of 52, right, as 24% times 52, which is the same as, when I move the decimal place over two spots, 0 0.24 times 52. Here, no special trick will help us. We simply have to multiply it out longhand. Take 52 and multiply this times 0 0.24. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 5 is 20. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 5 is 10. Add it all together. 8, 4, 2, 1. I have two decimal places. 1, 2. Put it right there. The answer is 12.2. Eight. The next example, 145% of 320, again, that means 145% multiplied times 320, and 145% can be turned into a decimal by moving the decimal spot over two places, get rid of the percent sign, this is 1.45 times 320. Okay, writing this down, we have 320 and times 1.45. Notice I put the zero there off on the side, so I don't have to keep multiplying that by each of the numbers, but we can't forget about it. We have to add it at the end. 5 times 2 is 10. Put down the zero. Remember 1. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. Add all together, 0, 4, 1, 6, and 4. And don't forget that 0 right there. I still have two decimal places, so I need to put a decimal point right there, which means that 1.45 times 320 is equal to 464, which means that 145% of 320 is 464. Okay, the last one, we put a dollar sign in there just to make it a little bit more interesting. The question is, what is 65% of $2.48? Again, that means we're multiplying 65% multiplied times $2.48. This means we're going to make that into a decimal by moving the decimal place over two spots. This is equal to 0 0.65 multiplied times $2.48. So let's go ahead and do the multiplication. I'll do it right over here. 2.48 times 0 0.65. 5 times 8 is 40. Put down the 0. Remember 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Plus 4 is 24. 
write down the 4, remember 2, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12. You may not realize it, but when I remember those numbers, I use my fingers to memorize the numbers. 6 times 8 is 48, I write down the 4, I mean, mean the 8, and I keep 4 fingers ready, so I remember I need to remember 4. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 4 is 28, write down the 8, remember 2, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14. Add those all up together, 0, 2, 1, that's 1, 1, 6, and 1. I have four decimal places, 1, 2, 3, 4, which means that 65% of $2.48 is equal to $1.61.2. We can just simply write that like that, $1.612, and that's the answer. Of course, there's no such thing as two-tenths of, of a penny, but that's okay. It's just a mathematical problem. And that's how we do that.